Tyler here with projectsinmetal.com. I wanted to take a few minutes to introduce you guys to a video that was done in the 90s by Rudy Kahoopt entitled Operating the Atlas Horizontal Milling Machine. And I was interested in this video because I recently purchased an Atlas Horizontal Mill and I'm in the process of restoring it. But I think this video is, is applicable to anyone who either already owns an Atlas Mill or anyone who is interested in purchasing an atlas or any other brand of horizontal mill because Rudy goes through the basic anatomy of a horizontal mill and goes through several uh, projects that that can be done on the horizontal mill. Now the beginning of the video is is focused on the anatomy of the mill and Rudy kinda goes through what all the different parts of the mill are, what they're called, how they work, how they function and you know that's pretty interesting to me because I own uh, an atlas horizontal mill so I was learning a lot but someone who who owns a different mill, um, you know, the basic information is going to be the same, but some of the nuances are going to be different. So that may or may not be interesting to, to someone else. But if you're an Atlas mill owner, that's, that's definitely great information to, to watch. The next portion of the video I was also very interested in because, at, uh, because Rudy shows us a portion of his Atlas mill that uh, he had to make because it was missing, and that's the overarm support bar. It's actually missing on quite a few horizontal mills, mine included. It was originally a casting, but Rudy uh, made his out of a piece of steel. And so I'm going to be copying his design and replacing the missing overarm support bar on my horizontal mill. So if you're, again, an Atlas mill owner and you're missing that overarm support bar, this video could be useful just for that uh, purpose alone. The next part of the video is kind of interesting because Rudy describes the different types of tooling that you can use with the horizontal mill, including cutters, end mills, boring bars, and fly cutters. And then he actually shows us a saw arbor that he made for his horizontal mill, and included with the video are plans to make this saw arbor. Then Rudy goes into the different methods of work holding, such as angle plates and one, two, three blocks, and then he also shows us a more advanced work holding device that he calls an indexing device which is mounted on an angle plate. Now with the Atlas horizontal mill you can't tilt the head of the mill like you can with a vertical mill. So if you need to make angle cuts you either need to hold the, the part in the vise at an angle or you can secure the vise to a fixture um, that is an angle plate and that's why uh, Rudy made this device. Then Rudy actually goes us, go, shows us how he uses the mill and goes through the process of making a fixture that he calls the clamp block, which is basically a, a, a simple work holding fixture. Uh, the clamp block does come with a set of plans in the video, and uh, Rudy goes through the, the construction methods of this clamp block and uses both cutters and end mills uh, during the process, so you can kind of see how, how you can use either a cutter or an end mill to, uh, to make similar cuts. And then Rudy also shows us something that's pretty interesting, and that's his coordinate drilling method. Rudy can use the, the X, Y, and Z feeds on his mill to get very accurate um, placement of, of drilled holes. And so he doesn't have to lay out uh, the spacing of the holes on his part beforehand. And I thought that was um, a pretty interesting portion of the video. Now once he's completed the construction of the clamp block, he actually shows how he uses the clamp block in, con in conjunction with the saw arbor that he made to cut a piece of metal. It's obviously a, a pretty simple demonstration, but it illustrates how the clamp block can be useful as a work holding device. And obviously it also illustrates how well his saw arbor works. Also included in the video is a chart of Atlas cutter speeds. While this is probably more exciting for Atlas members or Atlas owners, uh, it's also useful information for other mill owners that um, use standard size cutters like two and three inch cutters because it kind of explains how um, how cutter speeds can change according to the diameter of the cutter. Now in conclusion I think this was a, a very good video especially for the beginner and especially for anyone who owns an Atlas horizontal mill. Now a more advanced user might might find some of this video a little bit boring, but you know if you've never used a horizontal mill, it might be worth renting, um, even if you are an advanced advanced machinist. As far as video quality, I'll give it an eight out of ten. This video was made in the 90s, so it's not exactly high definition, but it's 
the, the quality is plenty good enough for you guys to see what Rudy is trying to show you. Audio quality, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. There were a few um, short audio glitches, maybe one or two seconds in duration, but nothing significant, so a 7 out of 10 on audio. Video length was two and a half hours, and overall I'd say it was definitely worth watching. This video is available to rent through smartflix.com for $10 or purchase through baycom.com for $62. Now if you decide to rent the video, be sure to visit projectsandmetal.com first because Projects and Metal has partnered with Smartflix and we're currently able to offer Projects and Metal members a discount on Smartflix video rentals. So be sure to visit projectsandmetal.com first and, um, and check that out. Now I realize some of you may not be aware of smartflix.com so let me, let me explain. Basically, Smartflix is a, a technical video rental service similar to Netflix, but instead of renting you know, your favorite TV show, you can rent uh, technical videos on machining or, or actually several other hobbies from oil painting to woodworking to anything you'd ever be interested in. I've used Smartflix since uh, mid-2007, and I've never had any issues with, with their service. There aren't, aren't any late fees. The service is... Um, is pretty high quality and it's been around for several years and and I don't anticipate any of you guys having any issues. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you'd like to see additional videos, please visit projectsandmetal.com/videos. Thank you for watching.